Hi, it's a bright uh, sunny afternoon here in London, group number 24 between Hampstead Health and Pimlico. Did I get you? Uh, it's actually Mumbai. So the bus behind me was a bit deceptive, but it's here in Mumbai, aping the transport for London uh, Metro Decker buses. Switch Mobility has launched the first electric double decker bus in India, and this bus is standing right behind me, and it's something to watch out for. 200 of such buses will be flying very shortly, I'm told by Q4 uh, of this year itself uh, for BST. And BST being the pioneer for double decker buses, uh, again, is going to pioneer this zero emission movement. Ashok Leyland, of course, the pioneers of the earlier generation of double decker buses, now with its subsidiary Switch Mobility. Uh, this is an attempt to pioneer the EV double decker space with this EV22 launched uh, right here today in Mumbai. The bus has many firsts to it and the fact that it's a double decker bus rekindles the joy of commute uh, and it's a bit of nostalgia for everybody in Mumbai who's uh, traveled at some point or the other uh, in these popular red double decker buses. Now double decker buses have a lot of history associated with them and uh, very few uh, knew that double decker buses initially were uh, sort of uh, you know had a horse carriage so a horse used to ferry these double decker buses that was way back uh, before the ice engines came in in the 1930s then came the ice uh, of, the, of the double decker buses the famous titan by ashok leyland which had multiple variants uh, of course uh, till date these buses are running and the sad part was that the buses were nearly on the verge of getting extinct with only 48 of the older generation double decker buses uh, left in Mumbai and uh, this comes as a ray of hope uh, rekindling the joy of commuting by a double-decker the EV 2022 resurrects uh, double-deckers as a popular mode of transport that uh, Ashok Leyland subsidiary switch mobility has achieved so a lot more on how this bus looks what this bus is powered by and how this project was brought together in a short while from now join me on a journey uh, to unfold the joy of uh, commute of double decker buses here on CV magazine its launch marks another great step towards switch mobility's goal to build a cleaner energy efficient and sustainable future the hinduja group also places significant emphasis on innovation across I remember three to four years before, when I was in London, Gopiji phoned me and he was telling me to please take the trial of our electric bus. Actually that was the time when India, we are working on the policy to start electric buses in India. I got an opportunity because Mahesh Babu was there probably at that time. So I take the trial. I request them that this bus we need in Mumbai. Because this is the need of the country and you should take the initiative to start double decker bus in Mumbai, electric bus. I am really happy and giving my special thanks and best wishes to Ashokji and his team for taking this venture successfully and starting this new electric bus in Mumbai. You mentioned Mr. Gadkari uh, backing the, the project. So uh, would you say that the state government and the central government were equally uh, responsible for paving this introduction because this is coming right into the heart of public transport when uh, it's considered uh, where best as a, a leading STU is considered. I think uh, uh, you, as you rightly said in electric mobility is concerned this mm. is the first time in the industry we are seeing uh, central government state government working in tandem to support the technology and adoption because it's sheer economics and sustainable transportation just mm. removing tailpipe emissions you know. Uh, we were just calculating about 86,000 trees you will plant by just running 200 double deckers every year in this city, which is which is substantial phenomenal number. Yeah. Phenomenal number. And uh, look at the footprint. The mm -hmm. footprint uh, we uh, we are reducing almost 40% uh, uh, footprint for per passenger travel in a double decker when compared to a single decker. So a substantial amount of benefit for a uh, city and. More importantly, BST is one of the benchmark, I would say, in terms of uh, uh, forward thinking on bringing in new models of transportation. I, I think they are very, very clear that they want to bring back uh, to solve the urban uh, mobility issue because... Five! 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 Here 
in Mumbai and as you can see, uh, giving you a front view of the Switch EV22, the newly launched electric double-decker bus by Switch Mobility which happens to be Ashok Leyland's subsidiary company. 200 of such buses, as I told you earlier, will be plying for best and are expected to go through various processes like homologation and could be uh, pressed into the fleet in action as early as Q4 of FY23. So let's take a closer look at the bus and see how it has improved and built upon the legacy of the older generation double-decker buses and uh, let's see how it fares from there. Join me. A characteristic uh, front fascia replacing the humble older generation double-decker buses that we had. This is straight from London driven into the heart of Mumbai city. The green plate obviously signifying that it's an electric powertrain. Fantastic uh, use of colours on the lines of the Metro Decker running in uh, London. Conventional bulbs and a strip of LED on the side making up the headlamps. That's the parking hazard light. Then there are fog lamps at the below merged into the bumper. Doga built wipers doing the duty on the front windshield. And the, to give you a full look of the front fascia, there's a lot of glass use over here. And the prima facie reason for that is to give you, give the commuters uh, a panoramic view of the Mumbai city when it begins flying, uh, specifically around routes like the uh, Queen's Necklace and the Gateway of India. Let's take a look uh, on the side, try and get you as many details on the exterior before I step into the bus in the interior. Here's the side look. Again, a lot of glass use and this seems to have become the trend with buses now. This is a 9 meter bus, so not that uh, long as you could uh, imagine a double-decker bus to be. The company has tried to keep it lightweight. There's a lot of aluminium use in the bodywork. Uh, it's the same architecture as the EV12 and the Switch E1 launched in Europe uh, some months ago. And uh, the tendency is to try and uh, use lesser welded joints give it a more panoramic view and enhance the uh, commute experience. You can see the bodywork, again giving you molds at the front end and the rear end. The interesting part from the side here, obviously one that you shouldn't miss, are two entrances uh, which will double up as your exit, so for egress and ingress. The earlier generation of double-decker buses had only the rear entrance which uh, often led to queues of passengers and a rush up for the staircase to try and grab a seat on the top deck which gave the fantastic front view of the Mumbai city. Now all glass work, the bus is air conditioned so enhances passenger comfort. Let's try and, uh, these are again Apollo radials, 22.5 inch Apollo radials that you see doing the duty for the bus. The battery packs are in the floor of the bus, so this is a semi-low floor bus and uh, the company had to take special care uh, regarding the CG of the bus. So if you remember, the old, older generation buses were a little less stable. Uh, passengers tended to sway uh, on uh, turns, on sharp turns specifically. Here they, these buses assure a lot more stability for passengers and the company has put in a lot of work to get the right power to weight ratio, to get the right CG and uh, all of this has been done with a passenger capacity of 66. At the same time, the weight has increased only by 18%. Time to go in. Let's hop into the interiors. This is the cockpit for the driver of the double-decker buses. Automatic AMT transmission unit. Complete electric drive and a lot of synergy with partner suppliers like Dana for the integrated electrified drive systems. This is the instrument cluster. Giving details like the state of charge on your right and uh, the speedometer and the fuel gauge on the left dial. Parking brakes and other 
important switches on the right side. It also has the retarder, so it will hold on offer for the drivers. The switch steering. Safety parameters taken care of. Fire extinguisher. Emergency medical kit. Passenger display system. Hazard lights. AC lowers. Let's give you a view from the seat itself in the lower deck to get give you a first hand perspective of how it would feel when you hop into these buses so that's the clear panoramic view receiving some center of attention there thanks to media friends and this is the side view this is the passenger compartment in a 2 by 2 layout light cushion fabric being used over here the whole whole effort has been to lightweight the bus as much as possible given that it's an aluminium bus and the company as i mentioned earlier wanted to strike the right power to weight ratio good to see passenger seats with uh, seat belts handlebars ac vents speakers for all important announcements right now there is a mat donning the floor yes. hi finally i think after over uh, a good two two and a half decades get this uh, opportunity to make my way up on the upper deck of a double decker bus in mumbai we've done this in uh, southeast asia we've done this in europe where double deckers are quite a common phenomena in fact in london uh double deckers outnumber single deckers that's the kind of affinity to double deckers in other advanced markets 19% of people travel by public transport in london compared to mumbai where it's a dismal 1% so these are the stairs that take you to the upper deck what is this like stringing set of rubber again a large new 2 by 2 seating layout but to make way for the staircase you have a row of three for the back benches and it extends to the front of the upper deck understandably quite a queue here to make it to the front but i'll try my best to make way to the front of the seats thank you so much as you can see excitement to get a glimpse of the double deck bus clearly hit with the commuters usb charging points will be provided as optional on the bus and the bus could also in its later stages be offered as a customized option to private bus operators waiting to get their hands on the bus yeah we are this is what double decker experience in mumbai is all about sitting right at the front on the top deck and getting this lovely panoramic view isn't that what double decker experiences are all about so suppose it's a covered double decker instead of the opening flaps that you had in the yester years but the air condition should uh, make it for make for a comfortable comfortable passenger experience it's a 650 Uh, rather a 650 volt architecture the same as switch ev12 and uh, e1 and the company has used uh, lithium ion uh, nmc battery chemistry then go up to 250 km on a single charge charging duties are done by a single inlet as well as a dual gun charging system that can ensure quick charge in time span of 70 to 90 minutes just to give you a glimpse of the excited commuters here some happy faces on the front staircase of the bus ashok leland will take this bus across the country and uh, hopes to uh, have a sizable order book initially it's 900 buses out of which 200 have been allotted to uh, bst in the phase 1 we try and make our way down so we came in from the front and using the same 
staircase to exit as well. Grab handles here for support. Overall, a very sturdy piece of equipment. This lot of similarities to the luxury coaches. If you remember the review from uh, our luxury coach products, there is similarity uh, with the luxury coach products in terms of upping the ante for drivability, uh, drivability as well as uh, customer commute experience. So that was a small first glimpse of the newly launched EV 2022, rather 22 in the year 2022 by Ashok Leyland subsidiary Switch Mobility. Hope you had a good look at the bus and uh, you can look forward now to a ride in these buses in the coming months. Thank you for staying tuned in to CV Maxi.